In the previous lecture, we learned about sharpening parts of the DTL panel. In this lecture, we will be going over noise reduction and what is noise and how to reduce it in our images. As always, the first thing, what is noise? Noise is a weird artifact or grainy areas that is caused by your camera sensor or your camera sen sensor sensitivity to the light. Usually, the higher ISO amounts cause creation of these weird artifacts that you are seeing in this image. And there are two kinds of noise. The first one, luminance noise, and the second one, color noise. Color noise is mostly visible on the dark areas or the white spots of an image. Just like in this image, we see that this noise is called color noise. And the luminance noise is something like this. And as you are seeing in here, it's like white dots or white grainy areas. Lightroom has separate adjustment separate sliders for luminance noise and color noise and how to remove them so knowing what noise or what type of noise you are dealing with is very important in removing them from your images in Lightroom if you can recognize or distinguish between the noise or luminance noise just play with the sliders see which one affects the most in your image and you will know that you are dealing with that type of noise for example in this image if we go or add luminous noise reduction, we will see too much effect. But if we go to the color noise reduction, we will see less effects so that we know that we are dealing with luminance noise and we'll be using that to fix our image. The first slider in here is luminance. It adds noise reduction or it smoothens the image. The next slider is detail slider. As before, by pressing the Alt, we will see a grayscale effect or grayscale image of this sliders and what they are doing and how they are doing it. Detail is the panel which says how much detail we want to keep while adding noise reduction. We know that noise reduction obliterates or removes details from image and it smoothens our image. So by using the detail slider, we will be telling Lightroom how much detail should it keep or how much it should remove. The next slider is contrast. Contrast is to add contrast between the areas that are smoothening or are left out. And it's very easy and straightforward. You can see the effects just by having or removing it from the image. And you're seeing in here that in this image we are dealing with luminance nights and by adding luminance or noise reduction, we are removing lots of noise from this image. And if the detail is at zero, we will see lots of the details getting removed. But if we go and add a little bit of detail, we will see some details back. This is the before and this is the after of adding color noise reduction. We see much more difference and the image is containing less amount of noise. The goal of noise reduction is to reduce noise, not, not to completely fix that problem because that is not possible. For the color noise reduction, it's the same thing. It has the same slider, details and smoothness. We will go and add the noise reduction in this image. Let's see the details and smoothness back in our image. And we see not very much changes in this image. And remember that this image is JPEG and does not contain too much information of Lightroom to work with. So we will be shorthanded in here. And the noise reduction is a tool that we can use if we are desperate and we do not have any other choice but the best practice and good thing is to take noiseless images right out of your camera and keep the noise at minimal because no editing software will be able to remove that noise from your images completely and your image will always suffer from that noise so your goal should be take clean and noiseless images right out of the camera and we already learned what causes the noise and what settings affect the noise so by keeping that points in your mind, keep the noise of your images while taking it right out of the camera. Remove the rest of it using Lightroom and other tools of post-processing your images. So that was it for this lecture. See you in the next one.